right, in this video I'm just going to talk about um, some of the quirks, some of the things the transmission will do, and all the sky actives. Um, this one in particular, you have to forgive me, I'm getting over a head cold, and one of the TPMS batteries died yesterday, so I've got a tire light on. Um, so one of the common issues that some people will talk about is why does it feel like it kind of hesitates from a stop? Um, there's a few things that cause that. There's the neutral idle control, which is the first thing I'll go over. And then there's the, once you're underway, the torque converter clutch will lock up and sometimes you'll feel a little bit of a jerk with that. The third thing is I stop. I don't have that. Um, that one shuts the engine off. It's hard to, uh, yeah. Shuts the engine off. I don't care for it. I stop's one of the better stop starts on the market, but I personally don't like it. That can make a big difference on how one of these accelerates. Um, but for neutral idle control, so we're at a stop, foot's on the brake. Um, what its function is is to slip the low clutch at idle um, to kind of do like a sort of a neutral state. That cuts down on heat generated at a stop, um, saves fuel economy. Uh, that, that's the biggest reasons that it exists. I'm not a huge fan of that either, but it's kind of a newer, most modern automatics will do a function of it. So what we'll see right now, so we're in drive, foot's on the brake, I'm at a stop, and then you'll see um, there's the solenoid that's letting it slip right now. So if we, if you watch the tack and I slowly let off the brakes, you see it bounce. Now it's in gear. So it, it happens really quick. Um, not something I super care for, but it is what it is right now. So we can kind of see, so what that looks like on a scan tool, um, we've got solenoid one is what runs the low uh, clutch. So right now, it's only sending a little bit of a signal to it. So if I let up on the brakes, it's given it the full amount, so now it's fully in gear. Uh, the next section I'm gonna talk about is lock up from a stop. Um, we'll creep up a little bit, so now we're in gear. Um, we'll creep up just a little bit and you'll watch the tack bounce when I get around five miles an hour and it's subtle but if you know what you're looking for you'll see it and locked up so in a scan tool this is what um, that looks like so in blue I've got the torque converter clutch uh, solenoid commanded pressure and then the green is the vehicle speed so what you can see is at about five miles an hour, the converter starts to send, or the TCM starts to send pressure to the TCC solenoid, which begins lock up. Now it's not a full lock up, Mazda calls it a slipping lock. There's about 50 to 100 RPM difference between the input shaft and then the engine RPM at that point. When you go under that speed, it usually releases the converter. Sometimes um, you'll come to a stop quicker than it's expecting and it's trying to keep that converter locked up so you'll get kind of like a jerky feeling when you're coming to a stop and that could be because the converter just was hanging on longer it was expecting you to do something different another question is when you're in manual first and you accelerate and you let off and you got to come to a stop why is it jerky right there and there um, so for engine braking, what the car does is it'll clamp the low reverses really tight. Um, what most manufacturers figure is if you are in a manual mode, you're going to want the most engine braking possible, so that enables that. Um, the first bump was actually the car going into lockup. It wasn't in lockup until that point. And then as you're coming down to a stop, it'll open the low reverses and then it'll close them again. So that final last little jerk that you feel um, are those clutches reapplying as you come to a stop. So the 13.68 is the solenoid four, which runs um, the low reverse clutch in gears one through four. And then um, in gears five, four, 
uh, five and six. There's another valve that switches that allows that solenoid to control fifth and sixth through the uh, different clutch. So what we'll see, so we're accelerating. That means that the solenoid is doing its thing. Give us the cooperate there. Okay, so we're accelerating. We've gone, so what happens, lockup is off, then we're slipping lockup. As we start to slip lockup, it lets go of the low reverse clutches. You can see when it goes to one, that means um, it's fully open. That releases them. Then as we come back down to a stop, it let go of lockup. Or not, excuse me. It let go of lockup a little bit through there. And then it went back into slipping lock. And right there, it's starting to reapply the low reverses as you're coming to a stop. So that's what that little bump is when you're in manual mode, coming to a stop. Okay, this is another one I get asked about a lot, um, usually with what's wrong with my car. So we're in manual mode, we're just driving, everything's good, you let off, and then you see the tack do this, and bounces like that. Then you give it again, bounces, once you're back on the throttle, you let off, you can do that all day long. So what that is, it's not anything wrong with the car, that's just programmed in manual mode, um, it unlocks the torque converter for a bit when you let off and then locks it back up when you give it more gas. Um, it's just due to engine braking. I'll explain it a little more when we watch the scan tool data. So again, this is what it looks like on a uh, scan tool. I'm monitoring the commanded pressure to the torque converter clutch and then the turbine shaft speed, which is the input shaft of the trans and then the engine RPM to kind of show um, what goes on there. So right here, um, that's that's locked. You can see the turbine shaft speed is about 50-ish RPM through most of that area difference. Um, it's considered close, like we're still in slipping lockup, so it's not totally locked, so this is normal. Um, but what we get, as I let off, you can see the lines start to diverge. So the turbine shaft speed of the transmission stays the same. It's a linear uh, line that goes down. What you see here is the engine speed dip up and down. What that's doing, again, because we're in manual mode, um, engine braking is what they assume we're after. Um, so by un by lessening the converter lock, you're allowing some of that hydraulic um, force that's generated inside the converter to aid in engine braking. The other thing is too, is when you let off, it's, it would have the effect of like when you're in a manual transmission and you let off, but you don't push the clutch, you get some vibration, you get some shock in the drivetrain. This is to eliminate that. So when we're so we're still coasting through here. It's still called slipping lockup. So if we go back here, so at this point, when they're the closest, you can see we're about 81 psi commanded to the torque converter. But as we go through here, and we start to see these diverge more, we've got more slip going on. When we get down to the, let's go to the lowest point right there. So we're 55. 55 pounds. What it's doing is allowing it to slip more um, and you can see here we're well, I can't do head math right now two three hundred rpm different between the two. Um, again when you see your car do that nothing wrong with it that's just how it's programmed.